Hello, this is Hakadabeen, and today we are going to be tumbling again. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. That man bathing in hot sauce for bonus is damage. I hate that you don't even, you don't have to give extra content because everyone on the internet already knows what's going on and why hot sauce would be considered bonus damage. <sighs> yep. I think you should probably do jalapeno sauce. Oh yeah, by the way, last night I was eating some food and I was like breaking fire jalapeno oh, because, you know, I don't really like to be on fire but I like spice my food. I got half just on my hand, and I didn't really think about it until I poked at my eye later, and it started burning. Anyway, turns my wizard hat backwards. It looks exactly the same, but now I'm considerably more smug. Like this. <laughs> A bite mark. Easy website. Me calming down my horse named Me calming down my vampire horse named website. <laughs> I am deliberately stealing a, a design by Disney in a way that is unlicensed. Oh gosh, I need to actually um suck my stinky mouth as dong, Disney. I need to actually cover that. This is copyright infringement, not parody. I want to get su sued by the Disney Corporation. I need to hide that mouse. For context, Twitter is plagued by art thief bots. Any the image that has multiple comments along with the line of, I want this on a, a t-shirt will be automatically will automatically be uploaded and sold without the artist's knowledge. So artists started making images full of plated, copyrighted images like the one above and asking people to spam comments, I want this on a t-shirt. They report the sites to Disney. A few of these t-shirt bot sites have actually been taken down this way. I hope this gets Twitter taken down. So then Musk can have nothing. All that work and it, it's all taken down. When people go off about how English is the worst language, I just want to point out a few things. Our future tense requires only one word. Looking at you, Spanish. Words don't change meaning depending on tone. Looking at you, Antonese, also can't, uh, Antony, is that as action incredibly ableist because I am so freaking monotone. We don't live in some bizarre beauty and beast world where we give inanimate objects gender. Romance language and Germany. Likewise, we don't have different words for day because we... We don't care whether they were male or female. Looking at you, Spanish and French. There's no problem with you because we don't play mind games about whether or not uh, we respect you. Spanish and German. We don't alter the whole freaking language based on how much we respect you. Japanese. I like Japanese, but I will uh, agree that is ridiculous. The letters and sounds might not be consistent, but at least we s we have letters, not just pictures. Okay, that's just a, 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 as Mandarin and and Chinese, Japanese, ancient Egyptian. We don't have a freaking stupid tense specifically for talking to two people. 
Because some idiot decided that two person's heads was necessary. Alright, Vic. So yeah, I think we're doing okay as a language. I mean, the countries that use it primarily, not so sure. I mean, I live in one of those countries, obviously, so... Oh, and some of our plurals are irregular, but at least it's not like every goddamn plural is an entirely new world, so, where it's, so you have to learn every word twice. At least it's like, like that, right? Right, Arabic? What dumb idea uh, that would be, huh, Arabic? God damn, they're just going off. Poor Arabic. They, they didn't and, and think, think it would be a big deal. The Bond's name. James' name. We su- What? Bond names to James. Are you alright? Bames nuns having a strong call of bondulence. <laughs> this should have made me laugh so hard I almost cried. <laughs> yeah, I probably would do this. Well, I remember right out of a book my father kept it in a drawer. The Salty Mermaid. Do you know of it, Shadowheart? But I've been running his elf's fingers along Alara's scales. Her tail quivered in response. Taste me, Alara pleaded. Fabian smashed his lips against hers, and then their tongues twisted together like two eels in the sword sea. The pinnacle of good trash. Even I can't forget that one too easily. Your father is met and a fine taste. Hey, have you ever heard of this porn novel? I found it in my dad's drawer seven plus years ago. Me, when I'm normal and have regular amounts of socialization? Oh, defo. I don't know my own name, but I can quote that directly. Me, when I'm normal, I can and spot when others are also being normal. <laughs> what the heck? Can someone just explain French to me? It's Spanish, but you speak it in cursive. You have 11 and letters. You pronounce four of them. Okay, you must so. Learn to speak Spanish, now learn to speak Italian. Now subtract the Spanish from Italian. You are left with French. Latin, but make it fashion. Cover the second half of the, of the word, squint, and pronounce only the vowels you think you see. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, this one might actually require me to do the annoying thing where I have to do this. And hope that the internet holds up. <sighs> I think about the hobby hobby smuggling scandal way too often. Iraq, the US Justice Department. Um, what you got there, Hobby Law Hobby? Hundreds of ancient artifacts and Cuneiform tablets stolen from Iraq between 2009 to 2017 and illegally smuggled into America for display in an even eloquent Bible museum run by Avi Lobby's owners. A smoothie. Okay, was anyone going to tell me that there was an insane Hobby Lobby? Ancient artifacts smuggling scandal, or was I uh, uh, supposed to learn it from an iCarly meme on Twitter myself? Especially, 
Hilarious when you keep in mind that the main artifact smugglers were at that time were ISIS, who funded their operation and it's with that. So yeah, it's not it's so it's so yeah, it's not a stretch to say that Hobby Lobby funded ISIS. How did Hobby Lobby make everyone forget about that? Never forget Hobby Lobby is having robbing a robbing hobby. I'm sorry, they what? <laughs> that last one. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be so much uh, rhyming, but I think it, it, I might have uh, pronounced it properly because that just is makes it even more hysterical. <sighs> I'm skipping this one. That should be marked as NSFW anyway. Really important PSA! The food who hurts well has a friend! He is out the loneliest well in the world! Marine scientists heard 250 who hurts calls within 10 minutes of one another off the coast of California. I repeat, he has a friend! Someone called back! Hell yeah! Oh gosh. Oh, that's fun. Please. Bruh, these kids were running a lemonade stand, and I, I walked up to them and said, Got any grapes? And this kid dead ass looks me in the eyes and says, Ah, we have prayed for our people all like you and pulled out a bowl of cold grapes. As if there's such thing as hot grapes somehow. There are There's warm grapes at least. Cold grapes are chilled and crunchy and good. Warm grapes are the nut sacks of the tortured cells brought to earth. I could confirm hot grapes exist. I was five once and decided to heat them in the microwave with my pizza. With. <laughs> okay. With, with my pizza. Just don't try it, please. You made plasma, dude. Ah, so that's why I was so sick. You, <laughs> you ate plasma, the fourth state of matter. I was five. I remember eating a glowing thing, then going to the hospital. Jazz music stops. You freaking ate plasma. What a mad lad. I mean, hot. Grapes are not a naturally occurring thing. You get grapes, room temperature grapes, and sometimes you put them in the fridge, but you don't need to add on chilled. Like, ah, uh, yes. Freshly chilled grapes to accompany your perrier, which we have delivered in a glass bottle and a butler is holding in, in a gentle twist of lemon. Why add the adjective chilled? Well, hope we didn't use chill, they use cold. But why would the grapes temperature cause someone to go to the hospital? I don't think grapes can get hot enough to glow without exploding first. Or glow. I ate hot grapes a few times, took grapes, poured liquid chocolate over it, ate it, the grape was just so hot when the chocolate was hard. Now it's totally fine. Maybe it was a microwave? It was. The microwave radiation screwed the grapes up the e e bomb and turned them into plasma. 
A dark plasma could only be made through either extreme temperatures more than my grave or extreme pressure. But apparently trapped in radiation can do that too. Should I wanna try this now? Do not! My science teacher got banned from school by graves for a year because she did it! Also, graves are just freaking weird. Anything your science teacher bans is a good idea. Just, just risky. And the politically correct term for mutated graves is demented. Ebony Darkness, Demented Grapes Way. This thread is getting wild and I'm here for it. Aren't we all? That was beautiful. At least some of this is going to be more from the, the Demented Grapes. I'm afraid to have a world building illness disease and it is terminal. Fascinating. And where did the disease come from? How is it spread? And what demographics does it affect the most? <sighs> come on! I'm just gonna start doing this again because my eyesight is getting worse. I might be 23, but I'm getting old, okay? <sighs> My beautiful gay daughter and her divine trans partner were flying up to visit her 87-year-old grandparents. My ex-partner thought that he would explain to his parents what pronouns I used, and all of a sudden, their granddaughter was gay. They were both created with love, warmth, and acceptance. Once again, these are 87-year-old people, which means that age does not excuse your bigotry. They ensure that they use preferred pronouns. Their acceptance was really precious. However, the day before Xmas, I received an email from Grandma telling me that she just couldn't accept their lifestyle choices and that Xmas was ruined. First, I was confused because I truly I thought everything was fine. I mean, what she read by lifestyle choice was not anything to do with her granddaughter being gay or her partner being trans. It was because they were vegetarians. She had arranged and to have ham, turkey, and QLD prawns. And not sure we have a prawns or shrimp at Xmas. She was really upset that she couldn't feed them up. She was definitely concerned at their intake of protein. In her words, you are who you are, but you can choose what, you, but you can't choose what you eat. Playing something of gender choice completely horrified of their lifestyle choice as vegetarians. This, <laughs> I can't even tell. I'm mean, just such a grandma thing. She's totally okay with them being queer. She's just upset that she can't feed them her world famous ham. Honey, you're you're so thin. Are you eating enough at home? I don't really, I really don't, I don't agree with this whole vegetarian thing. I worry about my grandbaby not eating enough protein. I know they said vegetarian, but this is actually a good, good world. One where people are more are concerned about whether or not you're vegetarian or vegan than they are about whether or not you're, you're gay or trans. This is the world I want. Yes, please. Get mad at something I choose, not something that I don't. People choose to be vegetarian unless they have an allergy. People can't choose to be a gay or trans or anything like that. Walks out of a bar covered in kisses, and I say, you just see the other guy. And you look in the bar and he's dead in a pool of blood. Jeez, that is dark. What did you do? Why was he kissing you? Finger licking good and its ontological opposite, toe sucking evil. 
Fredo Sanders and Quentin Tarantino locked in Mortal Kombat. That is terrifying. Thanks. To get the best Wattpad experience, tell us about yourself. Your response will be kept private. He, she, they. Pick you, pick one, you bald, genderless Id idiot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a C. Adams family. That's beautiful. Look, man, I got a master's in electrical engineering, all right? Welcome to Baskin Robbins. I'm gonna be fine. The most realistic scene in any Marvel movie. Truly. I hate being mentally ill in my house. I miss being mentally ill on campus. Mentally ill on campus? It's the stress. Mentally ill at home? It's a me. I think we're all far more burnt out than we realize. No, no, I realize it. I'm just still driving despite the check engine light being on. Same here. Friendly reminder that if your furry friend gets scared in thunderstorms, you should try and cover them, or better yet, get them a thundercoat. Or just hug them really tight. Whatever you do, remember that they have feelings too, and if you can help them, do. I thought this post was about furries, and I'm freaking sobbing. I mean... Could be about furries, you never know. I could see it. And yes, I would help them too. I can hear my blood when I put my head on my, my ears. Is that normal? I'm asking because I know you're secretly a doctor. That's normal, yes. I can hear my blood when I yawn. <sighs> or so I say, but I'm not gonna tell you if that's the truth or not. It's best you guessing and wondering. Finding out people don't usually add numbers by first adding something to make a 10. For example, 7 plus 6 equals 7 plus 3 is 10, plus another 3 is 13. And that's actually the ADHD is the wildest shit I've... It literally, I've lived like 10 years or however old I was when I learned to add, add and stuff. Thinking that's how everyone does it. What the frick? What? It's also an autism thing, apparently. What? Oh yeah, this is also a part of why autistic people, such people with ASG, people with ASG and autism, struggle struggle in math classes. Our brain processes math and numbers in a totally different way. Many people on the spectrum struggle with the show your work part of math because we can't exactly tell you why it works, how it works. We just kind of do it. I'm crying. What? Yeah. The thing about the show your work thing in math is that I think it's a little bit annoying. It might be a little bit ableist at this rate. I don't know. What do you think? I think we're almost done here. I think this is going to be the last one. Also, I want Thanos to have a counterpart villain called Sex Thanos, who goes around on plants and makes people fuck more, so there's even more if you want the population is even bigger, and he's a vein of all for Thanos' existence. May I introduce you Eros, codenamed Sarvalx, who is literally for Thanos' brother, and his actual superpower is fuck magic. 
Can't let you do that, Star Fox. <laughs> I love that. That was beautiful. Okay. I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware so that if anyone ever tries to film me in public, their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless to a functionless brick. Marnday Medusa. I wanna be a Marnday Medusa as well. I want my freaking uh, and sweatshirt on the front of it to have that QR code. That'd be amazing. I want to make everyone else's advices a functionless brick. Anyway, that was our set Tumblr. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. As always, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!